What is up, foodies, and welcome back to another episode. I am excited for this because I haven't made this in a really long time, but I went to Broad Street Oysters in Malibu a couple weeks back, and I have just been craving a lobster roll, and uh, yeah, let's just dive right into this. So I got these lobster tails for 40 bucks. There's five of them at Costco. Uh, pretty good deal. Sometimes, I mean, honestly, it ranges on the sizes. You just got to factor in that these rolls by itself are about 20 bucks if you're going to a restaurant. So you could probably feed about three people-ish. It really matters how hungry you are and how much meat you want into it. Um, so, you know, that's kind of a cool mindset. You're saving a little bit of money. It's super easy to make. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your lobster. You're gonna cut it to, you're not gonna split it in half, but you're gonna cut it to like the very back portion. You'll feel exactly where it is. And then you take a spoon and you kind of just clean out the lobster and you plop it on top of the actual shell. Uh, make sure that you remove any cracked shells or any green brown stuff that you are seeing that is literally the, the lobster poop. Technically we are going to remove the meat so you don't really need to put it on the shells. It's just something I do. I mean this is also a tutorial on how to make lobster tails. So once that is done you're going to want to get some garlic, some butter, my secret sauce which I also picked up from Costco. It's called garlic gold organic garlic and extra vir virgin olive oil. What a mouthful. Uh, but you're going to want to mix this all up together, put a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper in here, gives it that nice little red like look to it, also a nice little kick, some pepper, you're going to mix that up, and then once you mix that up, just throw it on the lobster, spread it around, it's a lot of butter, just clog your arteries, it's all good, uh, just put more of the merrier, and then we're going to throw that into the oven that is already preset to 450 degrees, we're going to throw that in for about what, maybe 15 minutes tops. So now we're gonna take the green onions and the parsley. We're gonna cut it up super nice, throw it in the bowl. We're gonna mix some garlic in there. We're also gonna throw some mayonnaise in there. We're gonna to have to eyeball this a little bit and maybe add more. We're gonna throw in some hot sauce and pepper. It's gonna look really nice. This is what it should look like after. So now that we have this mixture ready to go, we are gonna prep the buns. Thanks, Jim. So the other thing that we're gonna want is you're gonna want hot dog buns. I went to my local store, grocery store, and they literally didn't have anything other than these hot dog buns. So I have had like brioche buns, a little bit sweeter, that goes hand in hand, but this will get the job done. What we're gonna do is lather up some butter. We took the lobster tails out, but we still have to let them cool down a bit before we can actually cut into them. The oven is still nice and hot, so what I'm gonna do is take some of these juicy buns, take some butter, because you know what? What is another six ounces of butter? So we're just gonna nicely spread this around on the buns, lather it up, and then we're gonna throw it into that oven that, you know, for a couple minutes, we're gonna keep an eye on it, take them out. By that time, we should pretty much have the meat already mixed and we can just throw it together. So this came out super juicy, super buttery. You can see the olive, so it already has a lot of flavor, a lot of the olive oil in, in there soaking up. We are going to take off the meat, chop it up. Now the lobster meat has cooled down a little bit. You're going to want to take it off. Be careful when you do this because you don't want to rip any of the shell off. Uh, so, and then just add it and we're going to have to chop this up. I got some of the lobster meat right here. Oh my God. To be honest, if you stop right here, you have amazing lobster tails. So I'm just excited to chop these up, throw them into the mix. So now that we added the lobster meat to the bowl and shout out to my cousin Jess and her husband Johnny for giving me these bowls as a nice little um, housewarming gift. There's a bunch of them. This it comes in handy. So we're gonna mix this up again. This has the mayonnaise, the garlic, the parsley, the green onions. Again, some people add lettuce to it. You could do whatever you want. Celery, apples. I, I've seen everything. That's just not what I want in this. And that's the that's the best part about cooking at home. You control what you want or what you want to put into it. Um, oh man, this smells good. And I actually somehow eyeballed the perfect amount of mayonnaise. If you want to make it spicy, maybe add some more sriracha in there. I use just like a tapatio. Um, this smells really good. It looks really good. And so the next one part, we're going to take our buns out the oven. The buns have a nice little golden, look at that. Ah, it's nice and golden, nice and juicy. We are just going to take this crab meat that we added. Again, if you want to add more mayonnaise to it, feel free. Do whatever you want. Lay the buns down, put the crab meat, and just spread it around. Add as much as you want, add as little as you want. And look at this final outcome. I mean, it just doesn't get better than this. 
and I am just excited. Let's just get a nice juicy bite in here. Oh, Lord have mercy on me. Mmm. I act like a slow-mo. My dog hated that. Oh, Lord. The secret sauce is that garlic. You gotta get that garlic from Costco. It just hits. It's just on a whole nother level. It is amazing. But the olive oil, the mayonnaise, the butter, everything just mixed together. You get a little bit of like that crunch from the onions and the parsley. And it just, it just flows. Go to Costco or go to wherever your grocery store is uh, and get some lobster tails, make it at home, make it for your entire family. I mean, this whole thing took maybe with prep and everything, like a half an hour. And this is way better than anything. Well, maybe not Broad Street. Broad Street is pretty solid, but it's better than most of the places out here. Um, Lord have mercy. I am going to eat this. I'm going to watch some football. Oh man. Until next time, guys.